All right, guys, welcome back. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. I have some old pipe here that my coworker was throwing away, so I decided to take it home and use it for some little educational videos. So let's go ahead and get started. I also remembered, finally, um, there was a bender in my garage. Um, so I need to give that back to the owner. But anyways, um, I remember I had this bender. So it's a one inch bender and this is three quarter pipe. So it's not quite the right fitment for the pipe but you'll get the idea when I uh, show you what's going on. But uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna do a uh, shepherd's hook and uh, let's see how it turns out. All right guys, so I just got home, got my tennis shoes on, all that good stuff, but you're just gonna want to slide your pipe in the bender. I'm just gonna do it at the very end of the pipe so I can give you guys a, uh, so I can have as much room as possible to show you guys this. Um, try to get this in the right position first. Um, so anyways, uh, what, it, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start out by over bending a 90. So what that means is, so you do your regular 90, 90 degree bend. Hopefully this doesn't, um, hopefully this doesn't kink or anything because this is the wrong size bender. So there's your, there's your 90 right there, but you're going to want to over bend it. <clears throat> because you're gonna be bending it back. And I'll show you what that means here in a second. You're just gonna to wanna to over bend it. I think I'm about to break this. Uh, so basically over bend it. Yeah, I already kinked it, but anyways. Uh, and then you're gonna to wanna to flip it over. And I don't know if there's an exact science for this. Um, <clears throat> for if you were trying to get it in the exact spot. Don't ask me, you're just gonna have to play with it. But um, then what you're gonna wanna do with your overbent 90 is just flip it over 180 degrees and then basically bend it to the ground, make sure it's straight. And then you're just gonna want to bend it to the ground. I think I need to add a little bit more, but that's kind of the basic concept right there. You're gonna wanna have it like that. You're gonna wanna put some more on this side over here, but this is the general idea, granted that this was actually going straight down in a 90 degree fashion, but so this is like if you have a, if you have to get into a, if you have to bend a 90 and you're on the ceiling or something on a concrete ceiling and you have to get through the ceiling, but you can't because when you bend a 90, there's this angle right here to the ceiling. If you're trying to go through a hole in the concrete or something, so you kind of have to bend a shepherd's hook like that, and then you can get your pipe going down straight with a shape like that. So that's kind of how it works. I'm gonna try to fix this real quick, see if I can uh, get a proper reveal here for you guys. Um, I think I basically kinked it because it's gonna get kinked really bad now, but basically the, the end of this bender, the end of this bender is hitting the pipe. So it's basically just folding over the end of this bender, but. Um, I'll add a little bit more back to this. Give you guys the idea here. So that's almost it right there. Just ignore the total bent piece right there. So this is basically what it looks like, like that. And then just go straight down so if you were either, if this was the ceiling right here, this would be um, coming off the ceiling and then going straight into the hole. Granted, you probably don't want it this tall, kind of want to keep it as low as possible to make it look better. But that's the idea for the shepherd's hook. It's just an over bent 90. So if this was to lay flat, this 90 would be curving like this direction. So it's just over bent 90 and then you flip it over 180 degrees and then you just bend it up or push it to the ground and then uh, that should pretty much do it. So hopefully this was educational. Um, not the best example here, but uh, I know you guys, some of you have been asking for a while, so I just want to make this well. Uh, there's empty room in the garage and I got some spare pipe and a bender. So uh, that should do it guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day. If you liked the video, drop a fat like and subscribe. See you guys back here uh, next time and check the description and hit the notification bell for everything else. Thanks guys, God bless, peace out.
All right, guys, if there's something else you want me to bend, let me know, and I will make another video um, as soon as I can. Um, if there's something else you want me to go over or multiple bends in a pipe, I can try to do it with these little short garbage pieces, but uh, let me know, and uh, hopefully I can help you guys out. Thanks, guys.